Hi all, my name is Patrick and I'm doing the Bachelor of Food and Nutrition at La Trobe University in Australia. Today my talk will be about culture and how different cultures can influence our perception and understanding of health and illness. Coming from a different cultural background, I find this area of great interest as I can relate to many aspects of the differences described in this topic. Firstly, let us look at health and what health means to you. So what is health? Health, as described according to the World Health Organization, is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease and infirmity. We are all different and what one may see as healthy, another may perceive differently. For example, one might see health as being thin, while cancer patients might define health as being in remission. So what is culture? Culture is a set of shared values and beliefs that affects people's perceptions, decisions and behaviour from a particular geographical location in the world we live in. Therefore, it is essential to understand how different cultures can influence a perception and understanding of health and illness. Cultural beliefs can be very diverse which can influence our perception of health and illness in countless ways. Let's look at an example in the Philippines. Traditional culture puts a very high value on the family, predominantly motherhood. The birth of a child is not just a private affair between the couple or their immediate family. It is a culturally significant event celebrated by the whole community. According to the Filipino beliefs, how a pregnant woman acts, the things that happen to her while pregnant, and even the thoughts she has can all significantly impact the growing baby. Pregnant Filipino women have a long list of beliefs, warnings and taboos restricting their daily lives until birth. Some examples are that a pregnant woman's cravings must be fulfilled promptly or she could suffer a miscarriage. In addition, a pregnant woman should not wear anything around her neck or the baby might get strangled by the umbilical cord. A pregnant woman must also avoid looking at something blemished, scary or ugly because that could cause the baby to be born disfigured. A great deal of our cultural structure plays a substantial role in how we perceive the world, healthcare and the ethics of the healthcare delivered. Therefore, understanding the health diversity in culture is crucial as it affects the perceptions in health, illness and death, different beliefs regarding the causes of death, where people prefer to seek help, how illness and pain are experienced and expressed the approach to any health promotions and the type of treatment they choose. We are all born into a culture in which we learn how to think and behave and the traditions we are raised in would often dictate our customs and beliefs. Therefore, understanding diversity is one of the many components of creating an ethical approach to patient care.